We are back. This is playoff vlog number two. Um, we already did one playoff vlog, but before I played in that Tampa Bay Buccaneers game, I did give a little preview into that game, and I said we we're going to win it. I said I was going to play well. We'll do we'll this and that. This is obviously after the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game and after the 49ers game, but I wanted to put this clip in there. This is our Super Bowl. You know, this is our biggest game that we're going to play, and then next week will be our biggest game that we play. And we're playing Tom Brady and the Bucks in Tampa Bay. And I'm, I just know, like, next week, we're going to be talking about playing the 49ers, you know, back at home. You know, I, I speak it into existence. You know, we're going to go out here and get this win. We're going to play well. I'm going to play well. Everybody on my team is going to play well. And we going to continue these playoff vlogs next week. After we played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, I didn't know Tom Brady was going to retire. You know, I, I really thought that he was just gonna take a little bit of break and then come back. And all the news came out that he was gonna retire and he wasn't gonna retire, then he really retired. And um, I just wanted to use this time to say thank you, Tom Brady, for everything that you've done for the entire NFL, but me uh, more specifically. A lot of moments in my life, um, a lot of high moments in my life, you have been a part of me in some way, some form, or uh, some fashion. And I just wanna say I appreciate you, man. Hell of a guy. I've, I've grown to know you uh, on and off the football field. You know, spending time with you at uh, at the Kentucky Derby really sold it for me, man. You are a hell of a guy, bro. And um, there's really no reason to not like you other than it, you win games and Super Bowls, man. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of you, man. I wish you all the best in retirement, man. Thank you for all the years. Thank you for all the plays. Thank you for motivating me to play better because, um, I knew that anything other than my best simply wouldn't cut it, bro. And, you know, I appreciate you for, for uh, motivating me to become a better football player and motivate me to play at higher levels in my life. And I just want to say I appreciate you, Tom Brady. Thank you. Going into that game, though, it was in Tampa. You know, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Um, it was going against Shaq. I know how great Shaq is in that defense, man. So I knew it was gonna be a crazy game. I just knew it was gonna be a crazy game. Even when we got up, I knew it was gonna be crazy. We uh, we got up and they started to come back. But before they got up, it was a play in there. It was a series, I think we were up by like 17 at least. It was one play where uh, it was an incomplete pass and then uh, they tried to throw a little screen to Gronkowski and I was all over it. And then they went for it on third down and uh, I made him step up. AD was right there, AD just trashed Tom Brady. And I'm walking out the field, I'm like, man, they quit. They quit. They don't want to play no more. And I don't even, I don't even talk, I don't even talk shit, but something something just came over me. And um, I started talking shit, man. I started saying, man, they quit, it's over. And I'm running off the field. I look back and the offense is staying on the field. So I run back on the field, they go for it on fourth down, they max protect and they complete the pass. I think that was the first fourth down that they uh that they went for it in the game and they completed it. Then they went for another play after that. I ran out the field because I was kind of winded. Around the field, they go for another play and they score. And then they start to come back and then they tie up the game. That's why I don't talk shit, bro. That's why you know, I don't say anything to anybody on the field. I just go out there and I do what I'm supposed to do because I don't know what it is. My, my words just motivate people. <laughs> it motivates them to a point where they just, they just play like they shouldn't be playing. So that'll be the end of running talking shit. So it was the beginning of the fourth quarter. Um, I get a sack on Tom Brady, I think it was first down. I get a sack on Tom Brady, a sack, forced fumble. It turns out to be that this is, that would be the last sack, forced fumble on Tom Brady, and I got it. But I had this play, I go and I sit down on the bench, and the very next play, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers recover it because we snapped the ball to the 50, and their defense, they, they jump on the ball, so I have to run right back on the field. I didn't, immediately I had to catch my breath, but. We turn the ball right back over, and I'm just looking at the, I'm just looking like, bro, what is going on? Luckily, uh, Major Staff and Cooper Cup, you know, ended it. It's crazy, I can't even put it into words, man. This game is so crazy, man. We knew, we knew it was gonna be like that. We knew it was gonna be like that going against Tom Brady and stuff, type of play. See, man, gotta rack them up, reload, and get ready for next week, baby. <laughs> we win that game, we fall back. Um, it was a hell of a plane ride, man. We had so much fun on that plane ride back. Kicking with the fellas, talking about, you know, the next game coming up. We knew it wasn't over yet. We knew we had to play a really, really tough 49ers team. Yeah, so we get back and back to my normal routine, cold tub, hot tub, um, body work, having dinner at the crib. 
All week we were preparing for a 49ers, uh, tough 49ers uh, team in the NFC Championship. Doing all the things that I normally do. I'm getting acupuncture, dry needling one day, man, and I absolutely hate needles. Hold on, hold on. Wouldn't move this fast last though. Why are we moving so fast? Tito's moving fast. I absolutely hate needles, but I know what they do for my body, so I feel like I gotta throw up. Do you really? Getting nauseous? You need a minute? Yes. <laughs> Yes, Tito. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I just feel it like right here. Just like that. This is the last one? Last one. Um, I spent all of this time on my body for 30 minutes on game day. Just one of those things that you got to push through. This guy Tito, man, he does not like me. They got a good team though. They got a good, yeah, they, they got a good physical team. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they run the ball really well. Um, we just gotta be the best team tomorrow. We just gotta be the best team tomorrow. Um, it's always pressure on every single game in the National Football League. That's just how it is. I've uh, grown to embrace pressure. I've grown, I've grown to embrace the anxiety that comes uh, with playing in the game. I've, I've grown to embrace all the emotions that you feel before a game, and I just. Tell myself pressure is privilege. Um, we had a losing record versus the 49ers, but we didn't let that um, we didn't let that come into our minds. We knew this was a separate game. We knew this was going to be a tough game. We knew that we could beat these guys. We just had to play our style of football. We play these guys, man, and it comes down to the wire as well. We were down by 10 points in this game, but luckily we were able to come back and it was the Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup show again. Yeah, um, towards the end of the game, we, we really made the offense um, one dimensional, man. And once we do that, we got, we got DBs, we got cover guys, we got a crazy pass rush, and we were just rushing like wild dogs, man. And we were able to, to cause a turnover and um, we're going back to the Super Bowl, man. It's it's no feeling like it. The Super Bowl is, uh, you know, I remember I played in one before, one, one, went to one, didn't play, we lost that one. And um, I remember what it feels like after you win a Super Bowl, man. It's football heaven. Um, it's nothing like it, man. And we're going back. This is a special moment. People ask me how is it, how is it the same as uh, you know the first Super Bowl that we won? And I tell them it's like having a second kid. You love them both. Um, but they're they're two totally different they're two totally different things you know um, you, they're both your babies but they they are they grow separate they grow separately they 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 are two totally different things man and this team is has similarities to um, the team in 2015 but this is a totally different team man and I'm excited to play the Super Bowl here in LA at home and that's it for uh, this uh, vlog make sure you tune in next week for the Super Bowl vlog. You guys don't want to miss it, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave your comments below, man. Make sure you um, check next week for my predictions on this Super Bowl game. So uh, everybody stay tuned. Everybody stay in touch, man. I love you guys. DJ Sauce, when I'm done, I'm out.